See this pipe? The water coming out of it is called urban stormwater runoff. As this water washes over lawns and gardens, it picks up pesticides along the way. The problem is when this contaminated water ends up in the lower Chippewa River. According to the Wisconsin DNR, a pesticide is any substance used to control or repel a pest or to prevent the damage that pests may cause. When pesticides are applied to lawns and gardens, they can be washed away by rainfall. Application of pesticides right before it rains increases the contamination of runoff that flows into nearby rivers and streams via drainage pipes. Some contaminated water travels to stormwater detention facilities where contaminants have time to settle out and are removed from the water supply. However, most older neighborhoods do not have these facilities and the stormwater flows directly into a drainage pipe which empties directly into local rivers, lakes, and streams. Pesticides found in urban stormwater runoff do not pass through the wastewater treatment plant but go into the river untreated. Pesticides applied to lawns wash off from rainfall and flow into storm sewers. Some water goes to stormwater detention facilities, but most of the water flows into drainage pipes that empty directly into the Chippewa River. Broad-spectrum pesticides are harmful to many different organisms. Even small amounts of the herbicide glyphosate can kill aquatic animals and plants. Glyphosate is also dangerous to land-inhibiting plants, animals, and soil microorganisms. Without these species, the balanced ecosystem and biodiversity of Eau Claire and the Chippewa River can be damaged. Pesticides have both short and long-term health effects. Human exposure to glyphosate during pregnancy can result in the degradation of umbilical, placental, and embryonic cells. Environmental hazards listed on the label are to be followed carefully whenever a pesticide is used. Treat only for specific pests instead of using a broad-spectrum pesticide that kills everything. The best way to prevent pesticide pollution is to avoid using pesticides altogether. There are many ways to minimize pesticide contamination in urban stormwater runoff that can be implemented in your own lawn and garden. Build a rain garden to help filter out harmful chemicals in stormwater runoff. Redirect roof downspouts to grassy areas instead of paved surfaces to increase absorption into the soil and prevent runoff. Handpick weeds to eliminate pesticides on your lawn. Put mulch around trees and shrubs to prevent weeds from growing. Use native plant varieties. These plants are usually more hardy, resist disease and infestation, and use less water. Ladybug and praying mantis larvae eat aphids, so introducing these bugs can help keep the aphids away. It is possible to have a lush and healthy lawn and garden without the use of pesticides.